Central New Market. You live in one of my most favorite areas of town. It's actually where I live. However, I'll tell you, there was not a whole lot of real estate action to discuss. But regardless, I have a report ready for you. I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader of Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center. And here's your January 2024 sold report for Central New Market. All right, Central New Market, the month of December was relatively slow. There was only seven sales for the whole community in the month of December. There was one condo apartment, one townhouse, and five detached homes that sold in the month. However, of those seven sales, three of them were actually either at or above the asking price. There was a townhouse on Appleton Court, which sold for $15,000 over their asking price, fetching a $960,000, a renovated bungalow on Monkswood Crescent, selling for just over a million dollars, and a newly built home on Andrew Street, which sold for $1,700,000. This home was listed several times at several different prices with five different listing agents. Should also be pointed out that they sold it on an offer date with an asking price of a million five ninety. Now this is important as the other four agents that had tried to sell this home at significantly higher prices. With the lowest price before the offer date strategy being a million eight fifty, which is two hundred and ten thousand dollars higher than the eventual sale price. Now let's chat a little bit about what the sale prices look like in the month of December. There was one condo apartment that sold at 250 Davis Drive and it sold for $615,000. It was a 1,161 square foot lightly renovated unit on the fifth floor of the building. And that price represented a price per square foot of nearly $530. The lowest detached sale price was for a duplex home on Ontario Street. I did have the pleasure of getting in this home when it was listed and it certainly was a unique home that would have been ideal for a younger buyer looking to move into the area while having some income to offset the monthly costs of ownership. Okay, so there are a few interesting points that I do want to talk about that happened in the month. The small bungalow market took a little bit of a hit in the month of December. Months past, the smaller, older bungalows, say on Avenue Road and Monkswood and so on, they were easily fetching well over a million dollars. But it seems to have retracted in price just a little bit. My guess would be because the likely buyers of these homes are second guessing what their home values could be worth. Something I'm also watching is the condo market in the area. There's currently 10 condo apartments listed for sale, five of which are condos in the pre-construction site at the Davis. Two of those five are developer inventory units, while three are assignment sales. Prices here range in price from $900 per square foot up to $1,100 per square foot. So when you compare that to the, the unit that sold at 250 Davis Drive for 500 and change per square foot, you can see there's a big difference in value. The five other resale units are currently in the 250 to 270 block of Davis Drive. These are more established condo buildings, which sell for a whole heck of a lot less per square foot than the new buildings. I'm watching the inventory in Quaker Hill as well. Active listings in this part of Central Newmarket is quite low at the moment, but I fully expect to see an increase in the coming months. And many of the standard lot homes in this area, which maybe don't back onto a park or have significantly sized lots, are usually seen as comparable alternatives to the more modern townhomes in the town of Newmarket. The homes on more premium lots in the area, however, will always fetch a premium price depending where it is in the community. So what's next? Where will the real estate market go in 2024? I get asked, how's the market all the time? It's a big reason for me in creating our monthly market report is to help spread the word about what is actually happening out there. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do have my ear to the ground listening to a lot of industry experts and regional economists. And well, I'll tell you, the picture isn't overly rosy in the coming months. Interest rates are not projected to fall until around the third quarter of 2024 and will come down a lot slower than they rose. Now I am projecting we'll probably see around a quarter point reduction starting in July and seeing rates likely settle around 4% in around the summer of next year. 
Now, which is regarded by many in the mortgage business to be considered around the sweet spot. The Bank of Canada has their first interest rate announcement on January 24th, but I'm fully expecting to see them hold the rate for this month. There is an expected $1 trillion in mortgages coming up for renewal in 24 and 25, and the majority of those looking to renew will be faced with significantly larger mortgage rates and payments, and may have a harder time qualifying for their new financing requirements, let alone their future monthly payment. This can't be ignored as the looming mortgage crunch but with, on a positive note, it is believed that only 35% of home owners in Canada actually have mortgages, with many being debt-free or holding a home equity line of credit instead, which is a lot more flexible. I predict that prices will continue to fall through the first half of the year, but slowly, and settle at a balanced price around July when I expect to see those interest rates start to lower. I do foresee inventory rising quickly through the year though, as many of the homes that were withdrawn from the market in December will be coming back to get the attention of the new flock of buyers gearing up for the spring market. I picture inventory in town getting above 250 by the end of February and cresting around 300 by the end of May. Now this is a level of inventory that we have not seen in town since the summer of 2019, but I would consider it to be a fairly healthy amount of homes that should help balance out the supply and demand curve for where prices will settle. Now, I don't say this to scare you. I tell you this to inform you. There are some agents that only want to paint pictures of sunshine and rainbows, but burying your head in the sand is no way to address the current market. Having a solid understanding of what is happening will help you get a better understanding of where you need to be positioned to successfully make a move in this competitive market. If you have any questions about the information provided in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. Either myself or a member of our team would be happy to discuss it with you and what's going on that may affect you. And if you're a homeowner that would like to get an idea on how much your home may be worth in today's market, we would love to have a talk to provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can get a better handle on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team slash value for more information. We'll see you next month.